tell us about the points you're going to make in your latest blog post. So uh, first of all, I will say that as a fundraiser, we shouldn't be waiting for a magic moment that will be get will be inspired by someone else. We need to put effort ourselves as a fundraiser to be inspired for the cause we work for. So that's the first thing that we need to be putting effort for that. Secondly, I will say that be friend with your programs team. Have have a cup of coffee with your program team. Like one of my colleagues, when she goes to monitoring trips overseas and she comes back, we always have a lot to learn from her. So collect these stories from your programs team. Number three is that we should be going ourselves on the on the projects as well, whether it's local or international. So we can learn that firsthand. So collect your own stories. Don't just read from your website or from your programs team. Make your own stories. Go out there. Number four is very important, especially for major gift uh, fundraisers, for people those who are in relationship fundraising, uh, is ask your donors. Like one of my donor told me the story that he is donating to an orphan charity because her mother was an orphan and she lived overseas, very miserable life, and she was used to tell her a story, her experience as an orphan. So that inspired this son to donate to our charity. So that's phenomenal. So ask your donors. That will, that will do two good things for you. Number one, that your donor is always happy to share their stories and that you have a genuine interest to know about them. Number two, that you are, having, you are getting inspired yourself, which is important, I think. And number five is... Meeting your founder, I think. Yes. So number five is that meet your founding trustees or trustees. Like when I joined Orphans Need and I met the founding trustee and he said one of the things he said that we need to treat these orphans like our children. And I was like we can't treat 150 million children like our children. But he said we have to because they have no one in the world to go to. So if we are the champions of uh, sporting orphans so we should be treating like our orphan so that wording or that what you say statement from my founding trustee was phenomenal because people those who are founding those who are the founding members of your organization they have more experience they have more knowledge they they will have more inspiring stories than you to share with you and that can help you to connect with your cause so all these five points i have shared in my blog is to inspire fundraisers that that how they can connect with their cause because connection with the cause will help you to connect with the donors and that's important because people easily connect with you once you believe what they believe this is important i think Iklak Hussein, thank you very much indeed it's a pleasure thank you very much